Do you struggle finding a good takeaway? Do you feel like you don't know what it's supposed to look like or how you're supposed to get there? Well, this video is for you. We're going to talk about how to get to a good spot in the takeaway that will get you to about shaft parallel in your backswing and also get you in a great spot so you have better success in your downswing. So a lot of golfers come to me and they're confused on how should I start my backswing or you know, what should be my trigger to you know, make the club start. And too often, the, the feeling I see a lot of players do is they're really eager to snap the club away from the ball with their hands. They use their arms and their hands, they just kind of whip it away. And you know, usually when that happens, you get your classic underplane, overplane hacker. But also, it feels really good, it feels really fast to snap the golf club away from the golf ball like that with your arms and your hands. What you have to realize is your hands and your arms can move a lot faster than your hips and your torso. So what I tell a lot of golfers is if it feels really quick in the takeaway, that's what a lot of people use, I was too fast, I was too quick, and you can go down a rabbit hole about timing and tempo and rhythm and all that stuff. But for this, for, for this video, we're gonna stick to just, what can you do to get to a good backswing consistently? And, and get to the club to about shaft parallel and what it's gonna look like. And so what we wanna think about is we wanna use our big muscles, so pits to knees, our core region, to create a good consistent turn going back and be pretty passive with our arms and our hands. And we're just kind of holding on to the golf club at this point. We're not really trying to, we're not really trying to jerk the club inside. If anything, we're trying to pull up on the grip maybe a little bit. But a great drill I want you to try is you can stick the golf club in your belly button, grip down the sh on the golf club to about the steel, make sure your face is squared, perpendicular, just straight up and down. And what you want to do is turn so that the golf club stays in your belly button and really feel your shoulders and your hips do all the motion and not your arms and your hands. Because as soon as I do this, the club head opens up and the club head gets behind my butt. And so now, if I do this, I have to make up for an open club face and I also have to make up for the fact that the club's under plane. So I'm gonna be constantly trying to get the club back up to the plane and get the face more shut. So, again, that feeling is gonna be keeping everything kind of connected I use the kids, I tell them we're making a Y with our golf club and our shoulders down to our arms, down to the club head. We're gonna maintain that and get to back here with our takeaway. Now, what else you start to notice is happening? When I start to get that turn, the club head starts to stay outside my hands and the toe starts to stay outside the face or outside the heel on the face. So I get a much more consistent look on the club face and usually what a lot of pros like to see, what a lot of good players like to do, is they usually want that club head a little outside their hands, toe a little over the heel. This one is the one that gets a lot of amateur golfers in trouble. So what we want to try and feel is our big muscles moving and our little muscles being calm. And so we get that little bit of a feel of turning with our trunk and keeping the golf club butt pointed to our belt buckle or our belly buttons. If you're a chick and you don't wear a belt, right? You get to about here, well now, a lot of good things can happen to your follow through. And so a good drill that I like to see my players do is, you can get set up, bring it into your belly button, turn to there, be like, all right, that's how it's supposed to feel. Return the golf club, and then turn to that spot again. Make sure you're in the right spot, look back to the ball. You can give yourself a little momentum and swing through and hit a nice smooth little shot. There's no rule book that says you have to hit every shot on the driving range at full steam like you're hitting a shot on the golf course. So I always encourage my players to take these partial swings to make sure that we're getting in good sound positions. Now here's the other cool part about our backswing we wanna make sure we get. When we make that backswing, we turned about here that leading edge should parallel my spine or be very close to it. If this leading edge starts to go straight up and down and my spine is bent over, we're gonna have some problems in the, in the downswing. We're gonna have to try and make up for that later on. So we don't wanna get that feel going because that could lead to a whole world of hurt down the road. So again, we get set up, bring the club to our belly button, get a feel of a good turn, club head outside the hands, toe over the heel matching my spine Got that feel. Now we take it back to there. 
arms are still pretty passive, maintaining my wide, turn my body, got in a good position, look back to the ball, up, swing through. And again, this is just a simple way to get a good backswing check to make sure our takeaway is nice and clean. We really are trying to work on, let's get ourselves in a good spot halfway back because we can control that for the most part. Too often golfers think that they're controlling the golf club throughout the whole golf swing. Reality is once you kind of make that start to your downswing, it's over. And, and there's a whole thing about the brain and how it all works, but basically the simple way to think about it is when you're, if they were a quarterback and they're in back in the pocket and they're about to throw and the defensive back hits their arm, their arm keeps going forward. On a golf swing, once you commit to pulling down the golf club, it's over. So the easier we make our backswing for us, the easier our downswing can be. So if you like this tip, you like this drill, be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what else you want to see and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Look forward to talking to you guys soon.